Hey everyone, this is Alex and welcome to my guide on how to get more resins, tempers, tannins and all this uh, expensive stuff that everyone seems to be lacking. I've been seeing a lot of players complain about uh, not being able to get a lot of this on their own and I'm going to show you how I do it, what I do to get them and uh, basically I'm never running out of them pretty much. So uh, for me personally, um, it's not extremely important to have them all the time, but I do like to have them and have a sustainable way of getting them because I often like to improve gear to legendary quality. And on some of my other characters I have dozens and dozens of gear improved. And that would not be possible if I had to buy everything myself, it would cost too much. So if you haven't seen my video on making gold in ESO, go check out my sustainable way of making income in ESO. It's very easy, it doesn't take a lot of time. It does take some time to set it up, but once you do, it's very easy, very cost efficient and uh, very profitable as well. So basically what I do to get uh, all this stuff is uh, I utilize the power of survey maps. Now, when you do those crafting rates and dailies, you have about 15% chance to drop uh, blacksmithing, clothing and woodworking survey maps. Enchanting, I think, is about uh, 30%, so you'll be seeing them a little bit more often. They're usually worthless, but once you start collecting those uh, yellow aspect runestones, you won't be needing to buy them anyway, so it's okay, I just collect them. It would be better if they were dropping those uh, expensive uh, essence runestones like Caucasia and stuff like that. That would make it perfect. But um, other than that, the alchemy one seems to have the biggest drop chance uh, at about 50%, I would say. And this is good because you can stock up on all those plants and you don't have to buy them. You can craft all your potions and that also saves a lot of gold. So what I do, this is basically one or two days of uh, crafting rits for me because I have eight characters and I'm very lucky when it comes to getting them. Let's say three days max, two days. And uh, I already collected as approximately that much. And as you can see, I'm stocking up on a lot of raw materials. And I'm not selling this like a lot of other people are. Because I need the materials to do crafting rids. So I, I save all the raw materials that I collect. This is just from a few crafting surveys, as you can see. And very often I'll get in the thousands uh, for all three. And when I start refining, I also, I don't know why, but I also am very lucky sometimes and I get a lot of uh, alloys and all that stuff. And uh, the way that I do it, I usually save all the crafting surveys in my inventory. I put them in the bank on all the characters. Then once every few days, I'll go and collect them. This is maybe two days or so. And I'll stock up on thousands and thousands of raw materials. And that would take ages to farm. If you were to go out there and farm that on your own, it will take you hours every day and uh, I'm sure you have something better to do with your time. I know I do. So uh, this is much is a much better way than that. So what else? Um, nothing much really. The crafting surveys, they work pretty much like treasure maps. If you're on PC or Mac, you can install the lost treasure add-on. I use that one. And then as you can see, we'll pretty much uh, mark them on the map where you need to go. I usually go and collect the ones that are closer to the shrines, then collect the ones that are further away. And then, as I said, I'll usually go and collect uh, like at least 10 or more of them. It's not worth my time to just go for one or two all the time. So I'll wait maybe once a week, uh, once every, twice a week or something like that. I'll go and visit everything and stock up on a bunch of materials, thousands and thousands of raw materials. And as I said, I'm not selling them because I do need them from the, for the crafting rids themselves. Because uh, if, you're not ha if you're not buying them from the guild stores, it will save you a lot of gold as well. Then when you refine them, you will be getting a bunch of uh, materials. All of these rubidites here, I need them for the crafting rids. And uh, this takes time. But as you can see, the alloys will slowly come over time. Same for rosings and tannins, uh, waxes, all that stuff. I'm not very lucky right now. I don't seem to be getting many. Get, getting a decent amount, I guess. But sometimes I had like three, four of them in a row. It was crazy. I couldn't believe that something like that was possible. But that's RNG. You never know what's going to happen. And uh, you might stock up on uh, pretty much stacks of all of those uh, in a matter of weeks. And then you can sell them, use them yourself, uh, save them. I like saving them. All this sort of stuff I don't need, I either sell. Uh, These purple ones nowadays sell for nice uh, amounts in the guild stores as well. 
and uh, as I said, this batch is not very lucky. Hopefully the next batch will be uh, better. But as you can see, I just got two in a row. And I've seen like three, four in a row. It's, it's crazy. Sometimes you might get up to four in a row and uh, that's a lot of gold right there. So um, I'm not gonna bore you with refining all this stuff, but on average, I would say that, uh, I'll finish the rubidites. I would say that I'm probably refining like 10 to 20,000 raw materials a week or something like that. And uh, as you can see, my character is already tired from doing all that stuff. Selling them, you can sell them in guild stores if you want, or you can use the materials yourself. And that's how I get uh, tempering alloys, uh, waxes, rosins, it's really simple, crafting writs, uh, survey rewards from crafting writs. Go collect them, don't be lazy, put them here, refine everything, um, sell everything else that you don't need, and you will be making a profit in no time. And you get a bunch of materials that you can either sell or use, and that's it. So I didn't get many, I got only 4 out of 1.5k. Um, I'm used to seeing more than that, I'm used to seeing like 7, 8 at least on 2000 or something like that. But uh, it's RNG, you never know what's gonna happen. I'm always spending them, I'm making them at a decent rate, but I'm also spending them all the time or selling them. And that goes for all the professions. And as I said uh, before I wrap this up, uh, Alchemy, collect those as well when you get them because uh, you will be getting plants and stuff. And if you get to collect the ones in Kraglorn, then you will also be having chance to getting those uh, Nern Crocs and all that stuff, which you can use, store or sell. So it does reward you very nicely. So that's it for this little quick guide. And uh, let me know if you got any questions. It's really easy to get the uh, legendary tempers and resins and uh, tannins. It's not as hard. Uh, don't waste your time going around running for five hours a day farming some raw materials. That's not how you do it. That's not how you stock up on them. Uh, all that time that you're using to run some circles that you are boring. Let's face it, it's just boring as hell to do that. You could be leveling up another character and enjoying another character and having more fun and doing crafting writs and uh, whatever else, do some dungeons or collect survey maps and you're guaranteed to make uh, stacks of them every month. And what to do with them? Do whatever you want to do. So that's it for this video. If you got any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you around guys.